What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the step-by-step -step process of going from an absolute beginner to creating an app that generates you your first thousand dollars a month. Now, why a thousand dollars a month? For me, when I got started all those years ago, um, when I first hit my first thousand dollar month, it was absolutely life-changing. Um, because I, in my mind, a thousand dollars was kind of like real money and it was proof that, hey, this actually works and that I can scale it up further. So that was a surreal feeling. Uh, to be honest, uh, getting my first thousand dollars in a month, it was a way better feeling than getting uh, my first ten thousand dollars in a month. So, yeah, I think it's a great milestone and it's a very achievable uh, goal for many uh, new app and game developers out there. So I'm going to break down five uh, steps that you can apply and uh, get your first thousand dollars per month. So step one, the first thing you want to do is do your research. Now this is a step a lot of people skip and they are just hamsters uh, running on a wheel. They actually don't go anywhere, um, nothing happens, they create products that people don't like, uh, therefore people don't spend money in them, therefore they stay broke. So you want to do your research as diligently as possible. So whatever niche you are in, uh, you want to uh, research that niche, you want to use tools like uh, Sensor Tower, there's a free version, that's what I always use. Um, you can, um, it'll literally bring up the top 10 um, apps for any keyword you type in. So. If, say for example, your niche is fitness, you want to type in fitness and it'll bring up the first, the best uh, 10 apps in that niche. Another great thing about Sensor Tower is that it shows you if these apps are running paid advertising, which is really great uh, because if an app is running paid UA, especially on a big scale, that means that it is most likely profitable and they are getting more money than what they are spending. Well, in most cases, so it means that they it's a profitable app. So obviously they're getting some things right. And then you want to just pick out those apps, you want to download them and get, get yourself familiar with them. You really want to, uh, yeah, you really want to be, I wouldn't say an authority in your niche, but you have to have some understanding and you have to know what uh, you are, what problems you're solving when creating that app. So it's a great way to do research um, and Sensor Tower is a, a tool I've used for many years now. Um, so I definitely recommend using that. Step two, you want to reverse engineer um, these successful apps because ultimately success leaves clues. You literally have a blueprint in front of you of what is working. These publishers literally spend a lot of money um, perfecting their app um, and obviously they have some of the best people working on them so why wouldn't you follow their best practices I'm not saying go out there and just rip off that clone it and copy it and release it as your own that's not what I'm saying when I talk about reverse engineering you have to understand all the nuances which make that app successful you know that's down from the UI the onboarding process um, what kind of monetization they're using you have to peel back all of the layers that's why I say download these apps and you have to really familiarize yourself with them uh, almost become like an expert you know and that way you can understand what it is that they're offering uh, the end user and you are a lot more likely to to skip on a lot of mistakes that you would do if you're just going in blind so definitely uh, reverse engineering is a big part of why I was able to build my own studio why I make six figures a year even from organic traffic so it is a skill that you really have to hone and, and focus on so yeah even the icons and the screenshots so the marketing materials you have to get inspiration why are they using certain colors why are they using this text um, these are all things you have to understand if you are going to get any results so in step three now you familiarize yourself with the apps you've done your research you've reverse engineered uh, the blueprints for success now you want to take the step in actually creating the app so um, if you are anything like me, I have no technical background, I don't know how to code or anything like that. Um, I had to go the freelancer route. Um, so I had to find people um, that could do a, a good enough job um, at creating what my vision was. So uh, I recommend two places to go if you're looking for freelancers. 
uh, those are Fiverr and Upwork. Fiverr is a lot cheaper. However, you have to sift through a lot of, let's say, garbage because um, I have personally been uh, scammed a lot of times on Fiverr, but I have also found some real uh, gems of developers on there that do amazing work for such a low cost. So um, on the other side, there's Upwork um, and it's a little bit more premium, let's say. Um, and uh, therefore the, the quality of work is a little bit higher, but still you have to take um, the same precautions on both platforms. Always give, uh, give them like a sample to do. Um, just build out like a, a couple of mock screens or something like that, just to see if they're on the same page. Um, also, you want to see um, their portfolio of apps I've worked on previously and you want to actually get on a zoom call with them because I find when you're talking with someone face to face you kind of get a better reading of that person and you're not just another uh, a meal ticket for them so they actually you want to find someone that's passionate like you and they love what they do and that way you could have a good uh, a good rapport with them and they can deliver some something decent that'll give you a chance at making that thousand dollars per month. Step number four, and this is one that people struggle with the most um, because it is marketing. So without people downloading your app, you ain't gonna see any revenue, uh, you're not gonna get any data. And it's the thing that people struggle with the most because they, they spend all of their time on uh, development and making this, I'm sure the screenshots are amazing and all these things but they forget that people, if they don't know about your app, you know, no one's gonna download it. So what my experience was in the beginning, I had to learn the free way of generating traffic and that comes from ASO. A lot of people are gonna say, uh, app store optimization is dead, there's too many apps, it's too blah, 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 blah. But in fact, uh, I still rely solely on ASO to this day. I am slowly moving out of that uh, just because I want to scale. But so if you're not familiar with ASO, I have released so many videos on the subject and I literally show you step by step um, the process I do uh, to find keywords, uh, to find um, the best performing screenshots, etc. So it is a tedious process, but ultimately you are um, leveraging free traffic from the App Store, which is, is it can be a gold mine. Um, because uh, paid advertising is really expensive and if you are a beginner chances are you don't have the funds to do it so I would suggest focusing on ASO uh, making sure you follow all the best practices don't practice any black hat ASO remember do not take any shortcuts it's just gonna come back to bite you um, later down the road so always follow Apple's best practices and um, yeah, it's an ongoing process. So if you don't see immediate results, you have to chop and change keywords until you do. Um, same thing with screenshots and icons. So I definitely recommend checking out my videos on ASO. Um, to be honest, to generate a thousand dollars a month in most apps, all you would need is about 30 to 50 downloads per day. That's my experience in, in, in games. Um, so if you have uh, an app with good retention and KPIs and you, ha you have the right monetization, you want to aim for 30 to 50 downloads per day and which is not impossible to get it organically. Um, you could literally uh, get say 10 to 15 or 20 uh, downloads from ASO and then you can hustle the rest. I would suggest um, going to Facebook groups, social media groups, um, building a community, talking with people. I'm not just saying <clears throat> spam them with download now, actually talk to them, build rapport, let people know who you are um, and what problem you are trying to solve and you, you will get a much uh, more positive result from them and they'll be much more like more likely to engage with your app. So build a community. It Like like I say, these things will take time, but put in the work, put in the effort. Uh, don't be like everyone else and just spam a link and, and tell them to download it because that does not work. Believe me, I tried that many years ago. Um, so yeah, ASO, building communities, social media. You can even um, type in <coughs> your niche in YouTube and then you can see videos that are performing well. All, and uh, many times, um, they have an email address where you can email them and ask them, hey, listen, do you mind if I pay you a little bit of money? You can put my apps 
uh, link in your description and um, I, this is something I've tried before and it does convert into downloads um, if you are in the right niche. So uh, these are all great ways to get free organic traffic and I would suggest you try them. The last and final step in the process is iteration. So there's always that saying your app is never finished and that is completely 100% true. It's just like watering a plant. You have to uh, take care of it, let it grow and blossom because you don't want to just stop at $1,000 per month. You then want to go into your first 5,000 and your first 10,000, 20,000 and so on. So this all comes from taking care of your app, making sure that you keep tweaking it, uh, listening to the feedback, um, if you're getting one star reviews, don't just uh, pull your hair out, listen to them and go back and tweak your app. Make sure that you, you are listening and, and adapting to what your uh, customer base wants. And that's where you're going to start making even more money. So yeah, your app's never finished. Just keep taking care of it and keep updating it. Don't let it just sit there and die when it starts making money. but when it does make money that's even more of a reason to keep updating it and make sure you stay ahead of the curve so i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did smash the like button um i'm looking forward to seeing your your progress and uh yeah let's get you to that first thousand dollars a month and uh yeah and beyond so hope you guys enjoyed it uh, subscribe if you do like this type of content i will see you on the next one stay safe and peace out